Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Samantha. I'm 27 years old. I live in Ontario, Canada. And about two years ago now, I had gastric bypass surgery. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about regain after weight loss surgery. Before I dive into today's topic, as per the usual, I wanted to quickly say thank you and welcome back to my returning subscribers. I'm so excited. We just recently hit a thousand subscribers. It is completely inconceivable to me that there are a thousand people who have subscribed to my channel who want to keep coming back and watching more. And I know my content has been um, less than consistent uh, recently. But I appreciate everyone who stuck through it. So everything that I'm going to be talking about today, of course, is my own thoughts and opinions, my own experience. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a girl who's sharing her story, who wants to help others, being the person that I wish that I had when I was first going through my process of even deciding whether I wanted to have weight loss surgery or not. So speaking about my story specifically, my biggest fear pre-surgery was that I was going to gain all of my weight back. A few videos back, I did detail all of the different ways that I tried to lose weight before I came to the decision of having weight loss surgery. And it was a continuous vicious cycle of losing the weight, gaining it all back plus some, losing the weight again, and once again, gaining it all back plus some. And my biggest fear was that this is exactly the same thing that was going to happen in this instance. Um, it seemed too good to be true. And I know going in for a surgery and actually going and having the procedure is a really scary thing. It's, it's a really big physically, mentally life altering decision to make. And that was really scary. But my biggest fear, like I said, was gaining all the weight back. This is still a fear that I struggle with on a daily basis. It goes along with me having self-esteem issues, severe self-doubt, food addiction, eating disorders, mental illness. These things are all just not necessarily playing in my favor when it comes to trying to believe in myself and believing that bad things are not always going to happen, but I'm working on it. If you have ever interacted with me in any way, whether it be here in a comment on YouTube or if you've messaged me on Instagram or even spoken to me in real life and you've asked me about the surgery and how I stay so positive or how I did it or what my biggest tip is. And the most important piece of advice that I can give to anybody is that you need to have so much patience for yourself during this process. Nobody is going to lose the weight for you Nobody is going to make the decision for you. Nobody is going to hand deliver you into the operating room, pick you up and put you on the table and force you into having this surgery. This is something that you have to do for yourself. And if and when you make this decision, you really have to keep in mind that you have to be so patient with yourself, your body, mentally, physically, everything. It's very, very draining. It's really, really easy to say, this is never gonna work out. I'm not losing the weight. I'm not seeing the results. I'm gaining it back. Don't panic. Don't be impatient with yourself. Please take your time. For me, like I try to remember, it didn't take me two years to gain 400 plus pounds. So it's not going to take me two years to lose all of the excess weight that I have. I have just experienced my first bit of regain and I am reminding myself on a daily basis not to panic, not to get disheartened, and not to let this disrupt my progress. Because while the scale isn't going this way, it doesn't always have to go that way. I mean, I'm not working out, I'm not gaining muscle. I do fully realize that this regain is strictly due to me becoming a little lax in my eating habits and I maybe don't go for a walk every single day. But as I said, I'm being patient with myself. I'm giving myself the time and grace and love to accept that this is a part of my journey. And I knew in the back of my mind that this was more than likely something I was going to have to deal with. Regain after weight loss surgery is very normal. You don't always have to stay at your lowest weight. People like to ask me all the time, oh, did you hit your goal? Did you reach your goal weight? And I had an idea in mind that I just wanted to be under 200 pounds so badly. That was a huge goal for me. I wanted to be in Wonderland. I was gonna do a challenge to get to Wonderland and maybe one day I will, but I'm not there yet. Regain after weight loss surgery is not something that anyone necessarily wants to happen. I would absolutely love to be 180 pounds and 
at the goal weight set out for me by physicians previously in my life who wanted me to be that weight for my height and my BMI and everything, but I don't think that that's ever gonna happen. And my main goal was never a number. My main goal was to be healthy and happy and to be able to live a happy and full life. I wanna have kids, I wanted to get a dog. I want to travel and these are things that I could never do before but I can do now. So at the end of the day, even if I do gain 10 or 15 pounds back, I still haven't lost anything. It's really easy to fall back into old habits when you have the advantage of being within your first 18 months after surgery. And I definitely experienced that. I had a pretty thick pair of rose-colored glasses on for the first little bit. No matter what people tell you, like you're never gonna believe it until it happens to you. So I can sit here and tell you guys like, oh, regain happens, oh, Maybe be more careful, maybe don't do what I do, but at the end of the day, you're gonna do your own thing. Everybody's journey is different. I'm okay with the fact that I've had a bit of regain. I'm okay with the fact that I never reached my goal weight. I'm okay with the fact that doctors still think my BMI is too high. I'm okay with that. But regardless, it does happen. When your pouch is fresh and your restriction is at an all-time high, you're still introducing new foods, you're maybe not even through your food stages yet, and you think like you're kind of untouchable in a way almost. You get more comfortable, you start to introduce new foods, you start to introduce foods that you loved before surgery, and it's a bit of a slippery slope. Personally, I really do wish that I hadn't reintroduced slider foods so early on because that was where the downhill started. I was experiencing really, really bad restriction, and then I would be hungry again in another hour, and the job that I currently do doesn't really allow for you to leave the floor every hour or so to go and have a high protein snack. Not a lot of jobs do allow that, so based on my restriction and the way that I was eating, if I was able to sneak a granola bar or something really quickly or, you know, fill up my stomach as much as I could during my break so that it had something to break down further for a longer amount of time, unfortunately that's what I was doing. I do wish quite often that my restriction was still the same as it was pre-surgery, but I definitely do still have some. I definitely do eat a lot less than I used to and it's still kind of nice to hear sometimes like when I'm eating around other people and they go, is that all that you're gonna eat? It's kind of a nice reminder, oh yeah, I had the surgery, it's still working because this is not a normal portion of food that I'm having. This is a bariatric patient's portion of food. And sometimes it's a nice little reminder. At the end of the day, I am not going to let myself get discouraged about this. I have noticed on my Instagram lately, a lot of the people in the weight loss surgery community who joined at around the same time I did and had surgery at around the same time I did have also been experiencing regain a healthy normal amount of regain and you know it's really really nice to hear that I'm not alone so I do hope that this video helps somebody out perhaps you're dealing with regain or maybe regain after weight loss surgery was not something that was even on your radar just be aware it does happen I'm giving the same advice to myself that I would to anybody else and that's be patient with yourself rethink your eating habits again revisit old eating habits that you had at the beginning of surgery, not necessarily soft food stages, puree, liquids. We're not doing liquid diets here again, but just revisiting the basics, going back to the advice of your surgical team and trying out some new recipes as well. I'm excited to reintroduce some more complex carbs into my diet, more fiber, more green veggies, and a lot more protein. I have been kind of avoiding chicken breasts for the past two years because at the beginning of my surgery, my restriction would not allow me to have a chicken breast. It would get stuck right here and it was so, so painful. So I've been avoiding them, but I just bought my first pack of them again because I know it's a great source of protein and I'm excited to have it with salad and like I said, more complex carbs, just new additions. I've worked really hard the last two years and I'm not going to let this stop me. There will be more weight loss surgery content coming up in the future. I kind of wanted to do a little mini series called Let's Talk About and some kind of weight loss surgery topic. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like for me to cover. And once again, I just want to say thank you so, so much for everybody who's subscribed and who's watching and commenting and liking and messaging me on Instagram. It just, it makes me so, so happy. I always wanted to do this and ideas are popping up in my mind like crazy for things that I want to do in the future. I just love helping other weight loss surgery patients and people who are considering it. I, I love to be that support person. So 
If anybody ever has any questions, like I said before, please feel free to leave a comment down below, message me on Instagram, whatever way you'd like to get into contact with me. My inbox is always, always open and our conversations stay between us. I just really love to be a support person for other people who are considering the surgery, have gone through the surgery, or just wanna chat. I just really love chatting with other people about weight loss surgery because I think it's such a great tool and I firmly believe that this is the best thing I could have done for myself. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new content that I post. If you have any video ideas for me in the future, you can leave them in the comments down below. I love to explore new topics, so please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.